Hello dear colleagues, so in this video I will speak about a format palettes tool which is called content library. So content library is represented by this symbol and you should uh, click it and it will open window looking like that. So basically for all the beginning projects you will get sample library. So you will see uh, representation of Revit application here because all these libraries are converted from Revit families and if you use these libraries or these objects in format project later you go back with this project to the Revit application and normally it should uh, recognize the same objects and convert it uh, to existing Revit family objects. So how to place these objects? You just go Select the needed object, put it here, put the, the object and objects are grouped and created group and you can see a nicely located in your project. If you want to put objects inside your object, so um, I think it's best by doing flying mode and you just go inside your building, click escape and you just select the table, click space, you can rotate it and put it inside, inside the building. Also you can put it on the roof, it uh, grabs the uh, face of object. And like you see, it's uh, in in group mode, so it creates a nice group. And if you want to recolor objects, you can put some color on object. And now my object is made from grass. And in this case, it's important if you change object, uh, all the objects uh, are like groups, and it automatically change. Of Object. So in this case, you need to make uh, objects unique to be able to change print mode, escape, and one object is updated. Back default settings here. Double click. Use Okay, should be maybe linen white. Okay. So if you want to have additional library content, you can go to Autodesk Docs. So it's best to store all your library in docs and you can get the information from the docs. So for this, you need to have a license on the Autodesk Cloud Platform docs BIM 360. Another option. Another option, you can link folder but in this folder you should put libraries, uh, all library objects from the converted Revit families or other locations. So it means you need to do additional homework and you should create a specific folder, upload all the families specifically prepared for format application. And in this case, you will be able just uh, to select needed uh, family location from here and select objects from this location. So based on this task, you can see you need to create an additional objects on your project. Uh, so additional tips how to do it. You can jump to this blog post from format and in here you can find some basic tips and also you can download 
uh, for mid content library which is designed and prepared for you for mid. And of course, if you want to grab additional objects, you should uh, follow instructions uh, how to get objects from this 3D warehouse. So this one is for SketchUp. So SketchUp has a large uh, library content uh, and or you can just look for Revit content and convert it to the specific uh, format content. Also, if you want to use SketchUp content, you can use also in 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 the format. But in this case, you need to have format Windows desktop version, and you can import SketchUp uh, objects inside your project. So here we are in the desktop version and in here if you select uh, uh, manually created format library so let's say format content and here I can see a lot of objects case works yeah and I can go up and I can click enterage mass objects people And I just can put the people in here. So I can rotate it and place them here. So they are here. Light objects. Okay. And of course I can import. And of course I can import SketchUp objects using desktop version so it has more functionality additional tools and, and so on so thank you for your attention and until next time bye